In this video, I'll create the price prediction flow by scratch. So to create a new flow, click on the plus button and select the new flow. We'll name it as demo price prediction and click on create. Now we'll pull the data set stitch demo output that we created in the previous stitching data set flow. This is the automatic peak. We can see the data set here. Now we will select the columns on which we want to make the prediction. So to do this, we'll add a select facet. Now we will select the parameters, age, number of rooms, LSTAT and the median value of the houses and update the select facet. Now we'll add a copy facet by typing copy in the search bar. Uh, to create two copies of the selected data, one we'll use for prediction and other we'll use for comparison. Now we'll add the predict facet. Also, we'll add an join facet to the copy facet. Now we'll create the model. So in the model name, we'll need to select Boston Housing Random Forest. We'll keep the override as true and select the target variable as median value of the houses. We'll add flow arguments of left to the flow connector of join facet. And also we'll add it the join facet and select the option as join by rows. Now we'll add a rename column to the predict facet to rename the column so that we can compare. Now in this column name, we'll select MEDV and we'll name it as predictions. Now we will join the predictions to the original data set and give the argument of flow connector as right. Now we'll add an exported facet which will contain the predicted and the original data set and export the output as CSV. So we'll give the name as uh, predictions output and update the exported facet and yeah, run the flow. In this way, one can easily deploy an ML model in Ikigai and get the predictions out of it. Now we can uh, peak our results by clicking on peak. We can easily compare the original and the predicted values here.